and welcome to the Nesquik Imagination Station. This month we're looking at the animal kingdom and today we're going to make this really cool, snappy crocodile. Before we start, you'll need a few things. You'll need some paint to paint the crocodile, string, scissors, a pencil, a pen, a braddle, strong glue, you'll need felt, fun foam and card. You'll also need a long egg box and a short one. Please ask an adult's permission before you use these things and adults, you may need to help with the slightly tricky bits. So to start, you'll need to take your large egg box, open it up, get your scissors and we're going to cut it in half and then you're going to cut off any flappy bits as well, so I'm just going to cut this off. You'll also need to cut off these spiky bits here as well. Really easy to do, so just get your large scissors and cut through them. Now once you've done that, you can turn them over and you've got the perfect bottom tee for your crocodile and the top. And you're going to get your smaller egg box to make the eyes and you're going to cut out two of these to make really big bulbous eyes. Now I've cut out mine here and I'm going to stick it on with some masking tape. Make sure when you're sticking it on that you tape it all the way around so it's nice and secure. Now this can take some time, so I tape mine earlier to look like this. So there you've got the shape of your crocodile and now it's time to decorate it. So first of all I'm going to get my paintbrush and my paint and I'm going to start by painting the eyes white. So I'll put some paint on here and then after that I'm going to paint some teeth. So spin it round and with these lovely big teeth you're going to put white paint all the way along. So there we go. Some white teeth and I'll do the same on the other side. So once you've painted the teeth white, you can then start decorating the rest of your crocodile. I'm going to leave this one to dry so I can show you this one. Now with this crocodile, I've painted him green, I've put some nostrils on, I've put some crocodile bumps, and now I'm going to make his eyes really come alive. So I've cut out some strips of green felt and I'm going to glue down the felt. So glue it along there. And then this is just going to sit along the top of the crocodile's eyes. Now I wanted to give my crocodile a textured effect, but if you don't have any felt, you could always use a pen and just draw them on. There we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the eyes. I've cut out some black fun foam to make the eyes, but again, you could just draw yours on. So I'm going to put one here and the other one on. There we go. So he's really taking shape now. But the next thing is I'm going to add the teeth. I've cut my teeth out of card and I've put some double-sided tape onto the back. So you're going to flip him over. I'm going to peel away my double-sided tape, but you could use masking tape to do the job. And just stick the teeth on the edge of his head like that. Same on the other side. And he is almost complete. The final thing we need to do is spin him round and make him snap. So I'm going to get my braddle and I'm going to pierce a hole on this corner and again on this corner and then do the same on the bottom and then I've got some string and I'm going to just thread that through the top and the same again on the bottom and knot that together and then you're going to do the same on the other side and he's going to be very snappy how cool is that? Now let's have a look at some real crocodiles. There are loads of things to make and do at the Nesquik Imagination Station, so make sure you check out the rest of the website.